Maria Martin was at the Cherokee Bluff for our game of the week to see if history was indeed made. Cherokee Bluff in just their third year of football has a chance to win Region 7 3A outright. North Hall, they have a chance to stay alive in the race should they beat the Bears tonight. Let's get right to the highlights and waste no time. Opening drive for Bluff. Sebastian Irons connects with Shaw Dab. He'll turn up the heat down the sideline for 58 yards to the house. Seven zip Bears. Then hello special teams. A Bears fumble recovered by the Trojans. Now a lot of scoring in this one. Here's Georgia's fourth leading rusher in the state. Clark Howell bursting up the middle to tie this thing up. The second half bears up a field goal and here comes Eli Little. Heard his name a lot tonight. He avoids the tackle and in he goes. 34 to 24 bluff. The Bears explode in the fourth quarter. 41 to 24 the final. They are Region 7 champs in 3A. Oh, what a great night for Cherokee Bluff. Um, really exciting tonight. Uh, proud of our guys. These guys have taken their lumps for, for two or three years as, as a new school and just uh, found a way to just continue to grind it out. To go 0-10 two years ago to now turn this around. How emotional is this for you as a coach? It's, it's pretty special. I have time to sit down after this is all over and be able to think about it. So the first region title in school history for Cherokee Bluff in just their third year of existence. They are celebrating here tonight a tradition in the locker room after winning games. They sing the Bee Sting song, something Georgia Tech football knows all about. Back to you. Congrats to those guys.